Hi, Rivia. This is from the Crown Philippines. It's good to see you again. Grabe, ang schedule ha. The last interview we had with you was before you uh, went to Miss Universe, December. Parang gano. How are you? I'm good. It's been an amazing life for me after pageantry and thank you so much for being here it's actually the opening of our business which is a beauty lounge for nails and lashes so I also want to invite everybody if you do have time please to visit us here in our branch at Paranaque. Um, how I mean did it all start uh, with your business venture because the last time we saw you was on Family Feud ha? and then <laughs> Uh, back uh, behind the scenes, meron ka ng business of your own. How did yes, this start? Yes, yes. Actually, I'm friends with some of the partners and they introduced and they really gave like a very good and reasonable price to buy a share and I really wanted to venture into business because I can see my money growing in the bank but also I want to take that risk and do something meaningful at sinabi ko nga kanina since I'm in the beauty industry na din, might as well use the connection and make money out of it. Kaya nandito na tayo ngayon. And I'm very happy because at 25, I can say that I have a business. And aside sa pag show showbiz, at least may isa din akong pinagkakaabalahan. Uh, Rubia, we've also seen you with uh, the other Miss Universe Philippines. So um, it was with Bea and Celeste on an event. So uh, we haven't asked you, but how do you feel seeing um, another queen being crowned as the new Miss Universe Philippines? I'm so happy because Chalese is a close friend of mine. Actually, Bench, one of the partners here, is our common or mutual friend. And I'm happy for her journey. I can see the, the grit, which is very important. I would always tell her not to let the fire inside die because it, it's going to be a very long time to train. So you need to use your energy in the things that matter as much as possible. Stay away from social media. A lesson that I learned in, in the most, in the hardest way possible. So now I, I kept sharing all, all the lessons that I had to her because I really want her to succeed because it's also for the country. So every time I go out with Bea and Chalese, it feels so good because it's like we're fulfilling the legacy of being Miss Philippines once in our life and you know just just celebrating who we are because we are different women you know we have different characteristics different features but we're there and our common goal is just to celebrate our us being Filipina Grabe, phenomenal <laughs> women naman talaga no Rabia cuz um, Celeste mentioned that before she even filed her um, application for Miss Universe Philippines. She talked to you. She actually spoke to you. Can you can you give us more details about that? It was actually a lot conversation to be honest. She was giving her thoughts of joining, but she had a lot of doubts in her head. And I told her, "Na you know what, babe, you will never be hundred percent ready for anything in life." So instead of losing the chance, you know, might as well take the risk now. And there's gonna be a lot of people who's gonna support you. And once you're there, just give everything that you can. So I'm very much happy that she won because she really deserves it. She's been improving since day one of her submission of application. And up until the very last moment, she had that winning glow. And we saw that. She was, for me, like a runaway winner from the start. True. So, mabalik naman tayo sa yo, Rabia, because you have a very promising career. Everything's going well, the ba? You have a top business. What keeps you going? I think my my goal of giving my family the life that they they truly deserve, because you know my life has been an open book to everybody. I really came from nothing, and now all the good opportunities are coming, and I cannot waste it. Actually. I'm about to have a daily variety show coming this July, so it's another blessing. And sometimes I do ask myself, what did I do to deserve all of this? But I, I had a sacrifice, I had a lot of sacrifices in the past, and I guess God is just so good to me to, to lead me to this position. I'm just grateful, to be honest. Ito, itatanong na namin, kasi marami talagang nagtatanong, um, and a lot of people are clamoring to see you again in the pageant stage. Anong masasabi mo doon? <laughs> 
course, I'm overwhelmed. I'm thankful that they can still see the potential in me to, to represent the Philippines once again. But to be honest, because of my contracts with GMA Network, with Empire, I might not be able to do it again. And I'm just happy that once in my life, I was called Miss Philippines. And I guess my journey stops there. So I'm closing that chapter, but it doesn't mean na I'm out of pageantry. I'm very much willing to help the girls who need me. And uh, I, I can be a spectator now. I, I've done my part. Uh, and God knows that I gave everything during that fight. Yan, ayan mga kakran. Um, Rabia, message to your fans and to your support. To my supporters, thank you so much guys for being there. Even up until now, it's been what, two years since I competed, but you guys are the best. Thank you so much for praying for me, for loving me, for always defending me. And I hope that you guys would also find joy and happiness in your life. Because to be honest, now I'm at my happiest state. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, big congratulations, Rebia. Oh, you want to invite everyone again? Uh, where else can we follow you on your social media accounts and your business? Ito. Yes, yes. So guys, if you want to be updated about my whereabouts, you can follow me on my social media account at Instagram at Rebia Mateo. And also, we just opened our business here. It's a beauty lounge here at Paranaque. If you're looking for a lounge for your lashes and nails, might as well visit us here at the Secret Lounge. The Secret is out. So, ano pa hinintay niyo sa bahay niyo kami dito, guys? And let's have some fun. Thank you, Rabia.